Today, we got another first for the channel. So I know I'm really late with this, but I've had it for a while. I've just been really busy and I haven't been able to crank out these videos as much as I used to. But regardless, today we're going to talk about something really, really dope from a artist that frequents this channel over and over again. And yup, it's Zarface. A couple months ago during New York City Comic Con, Zarface dropped their first ever sneaker with Sakoni called the Zarconi. Now this was a limited edition release that was full of detail. This thing retailed for about 180 bucks and dropped at New York City Comic Con where you could have met Zarface in person and had them sign your sneakers at the Super 7 booth. Now, unfortunately, I didn't get to go, so I was just stuck to copping them online. And you already know, I copped two. One on ice, and one to look nice. Unfortunately, I actually copped three. One for the wife, but they didn't really fit her too well, so she was just like, uh, yeah, now you got three of those, so figure out what you're gonna do with that. Now, these sneakers are full of detail. They have insoles that actually connect when you put them together there's a design a czar face design which i believe was designed by lamore supreme that actually connects making one full picture i mean the detail is really really thought out on these the actual sole of the shoe has a czar face design on it the leather is embossed with the czar face head on it and there's also the czar face head on the tongue the shoelaces i mean this whole thing is just like ridiculously dope and if that wasn't enough Inside the shoe, there is a Zarface action figure by Super 7. So yeah, this is a collabo between Zarface, Super 7, and Sakoni. And of course, the shoe came with the toy. The dope part of that is the Zarface figure rocking the Sakonis that you got. And there's a little sticker inside there that says this is an adult toy, which I'm glad that Super 7 made the distinction because Yes, I'm an adult with grays in my beard. And yes, I still collect toys. If you don't like it, you know what I'm saying? Now this sneaker is actually sold out, but of course you can find it on eBay where you can get lucky for about around retail, sometimes a little less. What I've been noticing is people are actually splitting up the package and selling the toy separate, keeping the sneaker or keeping the toy and selling the sneaker. At that point, you could get the shoe for about 130, 140 bucks, or you could get the toy for up to $65. It depends me, I'm keeping them all because I'm a completist. The packaging in this is pretty dope. It's not a flip open sneaker box. It's actually a sneaker box that slides open, which is not uncommon, but it's also chock full of designs. There's a metallic silver embossed Zarface and Sakoni logo on it. There's some Zarface artwork when you slide the box open and the wrapping paper has Zarface logo all over it. All in all, I would expect nothing less from anything that comes from the Zarface camp and the Super 7 camp and of course the Sakoni camp, which also collaborated with Super 7 for the Universal Monster Sneaker Drop, which, you know, I mean, are you gonna find these kicks on StockX for a crazy amount? It's not one of those type things because this is for the heads. And again, shout out to Zarface, shout out to Super 7 because y'all absolutely killed it on this one. I'm super happy. I haven't rocked my kicks yet. I might let them sit on ice for about a year and then bust them out so people could be like, yo, what are those? And then I'll be like, you ain't up on that. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Follow me on Instagram if I missed anything. If you have anything to add to the conversation or simply want to be like, yo, these are dope. Leave it in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. Peace.